Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to video mushroom number 243. My name is Joe Exotic, otherwise known as Joseph Maldonado, and I am running for President of the United States for 2016. But you know the last few days I put up some videos of the FBI testifying in front of Congress about domestic terrorists and animal rights groups being our number one domestic terrorist here in the United States. Let me give you a little lesson of how a single presidential candidate can do his own research and open up some of the scams and the money laundering from some of these nonprofits going to those very terrorists and our own congressman accepting this money from those very same terrorists. Now, might I remind you that they all took an oath of office to protect the citizens of America from domestic and foreign enemies. Not to mention the Federal Animal Terrorism Act of causing economic loss of more than $10,000 by shutting down a business. So we're gonna go through a slideshow here for just a few minutes and I'm gonna show you the proof of just how nonprofits can launder money to domestic terrorists. First thing I'm gonna put up is a part of Big Cat Rescue's 990s, ladies and gentlemen. Six of their family members are making a total of $285,456 a year out of a nonprofit raising money under the pretense that they need to feed their cats. So you have six family members donating personally after they get paid $285,000 out of donated money to take care of cats for a salary. So that way, it's really not against the law to lobby more than 5% of the income of a nonprofit. Am I losing you yet? See, in the United States, if you're nonprofit, you're 501c3, you're not supposed to lobby to change laws more than 5% of your gross income. So what they're doing is they're writing each other checks for $55,000 a year and calling it a salary. Then that way, they can privately donate to all these domestic terrorists and politicians in order to buy what they want out of laws. So we're gonna throw you up another one of Carol Baskin's long list of expensive donations to the Humane Society of the United States, the Humane Legislation Fund, which scores your politicians, and Humane USA, which are all owned by the Humane Society of the United States. Go to Wayne Pacelli. So let me throw up a long list of Mr. Howard Baskin's donations to the exact same funds. Okay, then you have more of this year and last year of Carol donating to the same funds. You have more of this year and last year of Howard donating to them same funds. And surprise, surprise, Carol's daughter, Jamie Murdoch, is doing the exact same thing with that donated money, calling it a salary, and donating it to, to domestic terrorists. So I kind of wanted to look and see who some of these names on this donation list was, and you wouldn't believe that one of them happens to be U.S. Representative, good old Earl Blumener, and then you have good old Patrick Murphy, and this is all done by a lobbyist organization of a gentleman called Wayne Pacelli. Now, good old Wayne, he's got his hands in all kinds of money and all kinds of organizations that are lobbying as a 501c3. Humane USA has donated over a million dollars of tax-free money for animals to lobbyists and to different politicians to win elections this year. So, the last and most important one is another organization making the same political donations using that tax-free money called the Global Federation of Animal Sanctuaries. They've made four donations alone right there in the state of Mississippi to congressmen and other politicians in order to change the laws against you all. So what are we gonna do to sum this up, ladies and gentlemen? The problem in this country is the nonprofits 
tax loophole and money laundering to give money to domestic terrorists and accepted by congressmen, senators, House of Representatives, and the list goes on. Of known domestic terrorists, how can we possibly straighten this country up? We must get rid of the Obama and Clinton administration and get somebody in there that's gonna put a stop to some of this. And the last thing I'd like to throw in there is we're down to three days of public comments. And these very domestic terrorists are paying for comments to be on the USDA comment list to change laws and force their new rules upon you and I, American citizens, that are doing nothing but exercising our Constitution of being able to have life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness of whatever the hell that means anymore. But the main thing behind this video is we have to show every politician that they took that oath of office to protect the United States citizens against foreign and domestic enemies. And we do have that Federal Animal Terrorism Act law in place that needs to be exercised that these very train of people that are embezzling and funneling money and laundering money between nonprofits to nonprofits in order to force that economic loss upon you, the American citizens of the United States of America, has got to be used and some people file charges on. So that's about it today. I hope I didn't confuse you too much, but that shows you just how easy it is for a nonprofit to turn a salary into a lobby and get around that 5% loophole. So let's just shut it all down. Everybody pay taxes and you can give your money whoever the hell you want to. I'm Joe Exotic, ladies and gentlemen. Get on www.joeexotic2016.com and let's put a stop to some of this nonsense. I'll see you tomorrow for video message number 244.